Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me and, or at least, uh, D Shaky and I back here in Road to 56, in which we are having a good time invading the Philippines and eventually Australia. And now I guess I am the host once again, in which I did not delete my save uh, games, yeah. which is fine, totally cool, and uh, yeah. <laughs> And that means today I'll be lagging behind a little bit every here and there, so just, that'll be fun. Just a little bit. Just... <laughs> yeah. I think my internet down is a lot better than my internet up, so it, might, it probably won't be as bad as last time, hopefully. <sighs> that's we'll see. So. Oh, yeah, I need to go to war with China. Yeah, that's probably the last thing we, I have to do is go to war with China. China. Oh, yeah, the regular China. Finish that off. Yeah, they've had it too good for too long. Taking American convoys all around the Philippines. <clears throat> go, D-Shaky, go. Yeah, take Manila. Can you nuke Manila at all? or? Uh, well, I have green air now, but I still don't think I have the 75%. You know? uh, let's I see. need to build up airports here, or at least capture the one they have here. <laughs> you can always build one in Borneo, probably. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, I'm still... I actually can't, because... Oh yeah, I guess I could try. I I could just make some really long range planes too. Uh, I am justifying on the Republic of Bolivia. Hmm. You guys are up there, not doing anything, not doing anything. I deleted a few armies last time I know. So guys, come on down to Bolivia. It's gonna be a great place to be. Great. Oh, there's a hole in your line there at Dagupan. Okay. Oh yeah, I see you right there. <clears throat> that would not be bueno to get destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. You guys are hanging out, having a good old time. Really want to invade Australia, but I need my navy. Oh, gotta wait till I can move my soldiers out. Keep thinking them American convoys. They don't need to help out these guys. No, no, no. Cool. I got one of their air bases. Nice. So that should help. It's a really good one, too. Yeah. Is it nice and thick? Yes. 1,000 planes will now be stationed there. I uh, should like get a 2,000. What, what's, what does that do? Like, if you overgo the base limit, like, what, is, what happens? Um, I Just, like, some of the planes just won't be go up in the air hmm yeah that sucks. so just like you didn't have them there at all okay interesting I, I never did that oh did you do another naval invasion or a few other naval invasions wait oh i just naval invaded all the islands at once there nice. oh yeah a little bit of radar too well yeah as long as it's not destroyed huh <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, the oh, there's the air base. It was just invisible, the one in this state, but I'll capture another one soon. Very nice. Ooh, but I already have enough air superiority to nuke everything anyway, so it. it's already Do over. It. Do it. Manila, go, go. <laughs> I broke their line even without the nukes, though, so... Well, not the one in Manila, but... Beautiful. The Americans pulled all their divisions away, so I, I don't oh. know where they all went, but uh, okay. so I got the air supremacy, but it was already didn't matter. I don't know. Maybe they went to Australia or something? I don't know. They might have. <laughs> yeah. Defend the last fort of the Allies. Well, the Philippines are in the Allies, but like the last Commonwealth nation. Mm -hmm. Oh, Manila still can't be taken? Yeah. Dang. Well, I have divisions going around, and then I can attack from two oh, tiles. Oh, the British were in a party I saw for a little bit, too. Like, northern Philippines. Yeah. Oh, boy. Come on, capitulate them. Let everyone try to leave the islands, and I'm going to sink them. Uh. <clears throat> cool. And the Swiss are neutral no more, finally. Very cool. Uh, red aggression. Uh, a red aggression. I am seeing a. Don't crash. A new slot. A new West Virginia. Wait, what? There's a new slot, just like West Virginia and Palestine, I found. Huh. Wait, where? Uh, next to Luxembourg. Open. Open Malmedy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> huh. huh. Yep. 
Every it time... could have been there for a while, and I just didn't notice it. But nah, that has to be new. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I'm pretty sure we, I would, we, we would have seen that earlier. Yeah. Because we were right there when the West Virginia thing happened. Yeah. I noticed mm. the checksum was different, so I guess they had an update. Oh, uh, nice go. job with the Philippines. Nice and job. you got some of it, which is very cursed. But <laughs> now oh, this well. is just right. Mm. This is perfect. Now this is epic. <laughs> Uh, the Philippines are no. properly Chinese, you know. The PRC wouldn't t lie to you. <laughs> well, you know, I I'm fine if you got all of it. I'm just, I'm just an agent against Border Corps today. <laughs> this is just, oh, ah, oh, perfect. Oh man, they actually defeated your division. How did they get supplies? Wait, where? In Apati, Northern Philippines. Oh yeah. Like, I I'm convoy raiding like. All of the islands. And it's a level one naval base, too. I don't know. Uh, devs? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, but since they're capitulated, I guess it doesn't matter. Until, I guess let's... I'll just start helping with Australia, too. Alrighty, tighty. Yep, sorry, Philippines. No longer interested in you. It's time to come to the Java Sea. Happy 1951, though, to everyone watching. It is going to be a great year. And hopefully the last year. Oh, nuclear hellfire is going to rain up, down upon everyone? Yeah, that or we just, like, you know, recreate a calendar we bring upon, like, 1984 <laughs> or something. I don't know. Perfect. Now, yes. the Sino-Soviet relations will break down after the war ends. Yeah, of course, yeah. So, basically, almost a huge chunk of Asia, Mid the Middle East, all of Africa and South America under me, and Mexico, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. man, that would be, that'd be, that'd be kind of a wild thing to do. Yeah, Plus, that would be kind of crazy. But we don't have time for that. We're already yeah. like twenty three episodes in. We're a little bit too too busy for that. Uh, yeah, it would be it would be interesting though, because you have a lot more manpower than me, but I still have a lot more factories than you. So it'd be hmm. pretty cool to see what How happens. How many factories do you have? I think like about like I have eighteen sixty five. Okay, total, yeah, you definitely but... have more factories. Definitely. Yeah. I have twelve hundred. What's yeah. your manpower like though? And my manpower is pretty bad. I only have two million on service by requirement, so oh. I still have. 15% more that I could use, mm -hmm. but yeah, and not as much as China. What I could do is I could just create a whole bunch of puppets and use all their manpower infinitely, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that manpower game, I'm just a little under 21 million at extensive conscription. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I love India. I love China. <laughs> yeah. Especially when that, as that compliance goes up. That's crazy. It's perfect. All right. Have we found any enemy ships around in the Timor Sea? No. Yeah, a few convoys. Actually, a Danish convoy. Well, there was a Danish convoy. I want to see what happens. How are these guys doing? Oh, they're still trying to get over there to Bolivia. Good, good. Go, my soldiers. Go, go, go. See what happens. A Dutch convoy goes bye-bye. Another Dutch convoy goes further bye-bye. Mexican convoy goes sayonara. Let's see. Still haven't done tanks. Or 1942 artillery, but that's just me. Yeah. Uh. All right, I think boys. I almost had the final tank, yeah. Thanks. We just throw more men at the issue. That's all. And wait, well, I probably don't need any of my t tanks to take Australia, but I guess they can bring them over just in case. They could be useful for vacation purposes. You know. Yeah, they're just going on a vacation. Oh my Watch gosh. the end of the war. They have eighty-three divisions defending Darwin. Oh no. I think we probably would have to make really good Marines to break that one. That's unfortunate. Oh no. Yeah, do I have 40 widths? Oh, I do. I forgot I already made 40 width Marines. I'll just delete some of my armies and make an army of uh, 40 width Marines with our art artillery. I should be able to break them. Australian guy, scary. So many men. <laughs> Let's go there. I guess we could just nuke the tile too. If yeah, yeah I'm trying to invade all the area around, around here first it. so we can get some yeah. more air bases. 
That's our Sunda. Very good. I need to get some more radar. I should probably research more radar. But it's time for the uh, yearly invasion of South America. Actually, let's start justifying on these groups first. Oh, wait. The guys aren't even there yet. Whoops. I went to war. I was unready. Oh, well. Oh, no. What else is well, it's, it, it should be fine. What else is new? I don't think anything less than a giant civil war spawning in one of us could really, you know, affect anything at this point. Uh, it's, well, it's probably not. No, let's hope not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the U.S. is trying to invade South America. What the heck? Huh. From where? I guess Cuba or something. That, yeah. Hmm. I will. So do you have any naval invasions planned for Australia yet? I wanted to do Darwin, but it kind of fell through. So I'm going to try to take uh, Portuguese Timor, Lesser Sunda. Yeah, that area, so we can get another naval base or something around there. Okay, yeah. I'll start trying to take some of their islands, too, so I can build them up and maybe get air supremacy. Oh, you do have green air over northern Australia. I could nuke it. Yeah. Yeah. I won't just in case I can take it without nukes, because nuking mm -hmm. the port would not be very good. <laughs> no? What? <laughs> yeah. It, it tends to decrease the level ever so slightly. Oh, there goes the Swiss. Yep. Oh, it looks like we weren't able to break that area. Could you send a nuke maybe there? Um, yeah. If there's green air, of course. Yeah, yep. th there's. I'm trying to build. Yeah, there should be green air. Do you want me to nuke it now or right before you invade? Well, so yeah, I just tried to invade and nuke it so well, apparently. Um, yeah, I can nuke it now and then just tell me when you invade again and I can nuke go it Go ahead, just go ahead. Yeah, I have spare nukes and there's not just, that many tiles yeah, left to take, so... There we go, that's nice. I'm sending... Okay, only one guy's going in. Oh. Send in one more nuke. <laughs> okay. Because <clears throat> this little island can be easily repaired, probably. Not probably have too many... Ah, that's beautiful. That is so beautiful. Nice and hot, but now it's even hotter than normal. If you want to, you could probably invade the other Dutch East Indies islands. Yeah, I'm I'm invading just... Could you maybe try to put your navy in, like, the Coral Sea and the Solomon Sea and the Gulf of whatever, all let's those see, areas down see, there? Let me see. Uh... Do I need uh, this group up here? Oh, uh, yeah, I still technically need it in the Java Sea. We have one, two, three, four, five. I can go all the way to the Coral Sea. Cool. But for now... Actually, I, do I really need them here? I don't need them in this group. I'll send them over even further to the, as far as I can go to the Solomon Sea. Cool, we have that little rock. I love little rocks. Come on, take the island. Own the island, become the island. Uh, the Dutch are not having a good time. Good. Wow, there's so many Australian and just allied divisions on those ports. That's crazy. Wow. Mm -hmm. Good, those guys died, those guys died. Very, very good. Alright, one, two, three. Be from here. Maybe Makassar. Two up there. Uh, I'll be there too. And then invade. All the sorts of different regions, areas, you know, good stuff. And the Soviets are off. Good. Yeah. Yep, slowly taking more islands. 
we it's might not need them with all my marines going to Australia right now. If we can mm -hmm. land there, then it would be over. So they have like nine oil. That's all they have. Yeah, that's probably why we have green air so easily over them. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know how they would do anything otherwise with nine oil total. Like, their tank in the Philippines, that was pretty pathetic, fighting <laughs> that thing. No oil and being convoy raided, that was kind of sad. But perfect for us. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, how much do I get a month? 137 million? 137,000? Not bad. Never enough, though. War bonds, lower my war support by 20%. Probably not. But let's do it anyways. That's what war propaganda is for. Oh, how's my war against Bolivia? I should probably pay attention. Uh, that's going alright. Let's come to Santa Cruz de la Sierra. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, I've nuked. I've encircled Darwin, kind of. Oh. It's a port, so technically not. And I've nuked it uh, three times so far. Oh, and they're all gone. Yep. Nice. Goodbye, 60 divisions. Only right. took three nukes. You just committed war crimes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, no. It's okay. We're gonna be victors, so they're not really crimes. Oh yeah, we'll we'll rewrite everything. Even course. though you nuked them, you killed only four hundred thousand. I have ended up killing eight hundred thirty thousand of them. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, of course, New Zealand would be a major now. <sighs> oh, New Zealand is uh, that should be too big of a deal. I know. They only have one to two divisions, unlike Australia. Australia, I think, has all the allied divisions though. I'll just pass until I can take all this, so thank you, Bolivia. Yes. Cool. Good. I'm gonna try to send my guys down there in Darwin to help get in there, but yeah. Yeah, with supply you probably can't for now. I'll try to build up that port though. All my factories are just doing nothing as of now, except building up infrastructure and nice. ports in Southeast Asia. So. Wait, how many divisions do they have left? I don't know. They lost 100 there. So. Between 191 and 251. Hmm. Schnikes. Yeah, it should be too bad. Their divisions are pretty terrible, and with nukes they can just all be destroyed if they if it's, it's so easy when you have a hundred divisions on one tile though to hmm. just nuke them and destroy them yeah all. yeah all right you better be building up a lot of ports over there son i'm coming in <laughs> yeah supply here is just gonna be so terrible if i lose the entire army well that's okay i can make another stack pretty quickly yeah, it's just going to be a battle between us having terrible supply and them getting nuked every 10 seconds. Regional defense, nice. Very nice. <sighs> Supplies, didn't need them. Cool. Uh, where are you guys at? You're down there. You guys are over there. You guys are hanging out, ready to invade. Argentina. It shouldn't take that much longer to go. Well, so it's still 100 days. It's not bad. Well, and they have no air superiority because they're out of fuel. That ain't bad. Yeah, I better try to move Marcas over there too. That could be helpful. I just overran a few divisions, or I guess maybe I did, but. Hmm. Nice. Chile, of course, is the major power. Australia is. Oh. <laughs> Just wait till the Dutch East Indies or Cuba yeah. is. <laughs> Just wait. Yep, everybody's gonna become a major. If everyone's a major, then no one's a major. <laughs> yeah, true. That that's that's true. Wow, I like how you just like split Papua in half. <laughs> yeah, that's. I I don't really know what I was intending to do with those orders, but I, I guess that's that's cool. Just go south. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Ah, oh, you know what? I finally have 1942 artillery. That's nice. Yeah. I have artillery like some of the big boys. And by big boys, I mean Soviet Union. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because at this point, I wouldn't really consider Australia a big boy. Yeah. Well, hey, in like 200 days, I have max 1954 artillery, so... <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. I'm just 10 years behind, that's all. <laughs> yeah. Well, after like the 1945 artillery, it doesn't really get that much better. You know what? Uh, oh, I... Oh, there's only one place for intelligence for Australia? Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes. Ruin the supply. Oh, yeah. Look at the firebombs. You really want to kill more Australians than I do. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, it's just strategic. I, I, I remember I everyone watching. He hates Australians. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was hot enough down there already. Oh, yeah. Erica's still decrypting us. Uh, Do you have you uh, ports being made in this tile? That, that would help, probably. Yeah, I can make start making one there, too. I'm making ports pretty much everywhere. Well, everywhere that I had five minutes ago. Mm -hmm. At least the infrastructures are already maxed there, so that's kind of nice. Yeah, that's nice. Unless they're completely destroyed, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. That is true. Them? Yeah, it is damaged. 10 out of 10 level. <laughs> so, yeah. Their navy is 11 ships. Wow. That's pretty sad, not gonna lie. Yeah, my navy's kind of sad too, since it all got sunk. I can't remember it doing something. Just, just kind of casually hanging out. That's how they got sunk, you know. Just yeah. Casually. Someone because my navy is. Boom, that's all. Yeah, because my navy is technically the Japanese navy too, since I inherited theirs. Inherited, more like yeah. demanded. <laughs> yeah, demanded them after sending them a ton of convoys to annex them. Yes. Or did we win? We haven't done one yet, guys. Come on. The war with these guys is not over until we say so. Man, I have built up so much infrastructure. Holy crap. Almost all of Brazil has 10 out of 10 infrastructure. Nice. That is very blessed to have 10 out of 10 infrastructure in South America. Oh my goodness. That's just the one thing I do every campaign. It just it doesn't matter what mod. I love infrastructure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm the exact opposite. I never build up infrastructure. I always forget about it. But, but roads! Roads! Yeah, well, uh, you could just... Uh, uh, I usually make logistics companies, unless I forget about that, too. I don't know. <laughs> just make transport planes, then your supply's fine. There you go, yeah. Who needs command power? Yeah. Oh, come on, get Santiago. Come on. There's only two divisions in there. Okay, I brought my tanks over here, but they have so little supply. I think I'll just have to keep up with the nuke strategy. Uh, do you want to start planning an invasion of New Zealand then with them? Yeah. Or I can just get some infantry that's over here or something. Oh, some... Yeah, that could work too, yeah. Oh, yeah, here's some infantry. It doesn't look like the casualty count is really picking up at all. I think it might have been broken or something. For Australia? It hasn't moved at all. Yeah. I'm going to blame uh, most... Shaky. I'm blaming him. I think it's mostly because it, they just are using all the allies divisions and there was some event or something mm. that just like gave them all of America's divisions or something. That nice. I think that has to be what it is. Cuz there's no way they can field that many divisions with their starting manpower yeah. uh, even on their high conscription law. Even if they're all two with still they couldn't do that. Two with army. And they're all like real challenge. divisions, too. That sounds like a challenge for you. Yeah. Can you oh, win yeah. using only two combat with infantry? Oh, yes. I have been recommended to do that exact thing a couple times, and I don't, I, I really don't want to try. What? What? What do you mean? Uh, maybe one day. Maybe. What? what? Maybe if I'm feeling brave one day. 
artillery. I still have to. Yeah, I still have to do that first. That's like you know, the classic. And all this is encircled too, right here. Yep. So, yeah. I'm sending my boys in, even though they're dying them in there too. Ah, I love it. So you're telling me anti-air only. Anti-air only. Okay, now that would be quite the accomplishment. That's somehow possible by some miracle. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> yes, <laughs> because I d don't think anti-air have org, and I don't think they can get org. I think I don't know. You gotta believe it though. Just gotta believe. Yeah. If you believe hard enough, they can find. They'll find org. Yeah. Somehow. Oh no, we're retreating. Hey, why do I have five tanks in that tile? Huh. Wow! Look at all the ports you built. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, ports everywhere. That's yeah, beautiful. supply is fixed. That that's the supply map looks much better now. It's so beautiful. That's all my economy's doing is building ports in every coastal tile in Australia. Not even your own homeland. It's like no, Australia yeah. is home. Yeah, Australia is the new home. Back in my day, when I played Hoi 4, all you had to do to put down resistance was put divisions on there. Not some sort of fancy the resistance program system. Oh, yeah. I can barely even remember that, and it was only like six months, months ago. ago. Yeah. yeah. Back in my day. Back in my day, you could get 44 combat with divisions. And the field marshal, they could lower the division width by 10%. Or something like that. Uh, just Hoi 4 boomer memes. Yeah. I've only played Hoi 4 for like a year and a couple months, so I don't know too many of the Ooh. old things, but... I can't remember too much else. Oh, the old days of... Before you could actually upgrade your ships, I think. Yeah. I, I don't remember that well, because I didn't really know what I was doing. But now I sort of do. Kind of. I don't fully understand it, but what I do works. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. Oh, Australia's completely out of convoys. They have 190 divisions, max. I'm trying to send boys over to China so I can invade China. That's and they only have one to two divisions, I think, so it should be free. God dang it, they captured my operative. One division, yep. Fun. Cool, the tanks got in there in time. Oh, they might retreat, though. Nope. Oh, oh. Uh oh Yeah, they're not retreating today. There's only 37 divisions in there. Go, go, go. <laughs> okay, they died. Uh, the stats on these tanks is great. Uh, finally, I don't need nukes. I can just use the tanks again. Nice. Great. Well, I guess I should just use the nukes. I have them, too. I could just use everything. Yeah, I'm just going to go see if we can go any faster. More speed. Develop the Gawar oil fields. Don't mind if I do. Uh, let's see. Land auction we finished a while ago. Uh, 52? Nah. I think we'll go with... Uh, I think go with logistics again. Nah, it's a little bit too ahead of time. Yeah, research your logistics company so well that your divisions don't even need supplies. <laughs> Oh, and if you could help me get naval supremacy in all the divisions in all the tiles around New Zealand, like I think I think I have most of the regions green, but uh, there's a few of them that I need. I think before just Tasman Sea. That's all you really yeah. need. Mm -hmm. Cool. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Eh, I'll keep it up there too. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, then my invasion can start of that. There we go. Ah, uh, the Chinese... No, the People Liberation Army's Navy is a great thing. Because <laughs> not even the Soviet Union can match our naval supremacy, even though we share a land with yeah. them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it will not be a battle of uh, navies if our two... Well, yes, when are two countries? Yes, right. yes, We shall get Japan. I only have 25 capital ships and 107 light cruisers. That's all I got. Yeah. 
I would start building an AV, but uh, it's too lazy and unnecessary. It's only, it's only 51. Point. What? It's only 51. The funny thing is, when this series started, I didn't know how navies worked, and then after, <laughs> or towards the end, I kind of figured out. So I might have had a navy if this started like a month later, but nice. oh well. But now you know. Yep, now I know for the future. Yes. So from every campaign forward, everyone watching, D Shaky will know how to maybe make a navy. And an effective yes. navy. One where you can say, I can't win any wars except in the naval war now. Yes. <laughs> well, I, I know how to. That doesn't mean I will. I yeah, probably yeah, yeah. will forget about it. But, and you that's know. okay. Unless I'm playing as Japan, then I'll have a fun time with the, the navy. Oh, God. We'll see. Oh, no, not Japan. Oh, Japan's great. Oh. Oh, they keep sending planes for my ships. You pieces of garbage, stop it! <laughs> no, I lost my ability to drop nukes in eastern Australia. Uh, how close are you to invading or New Zealand? Uh, the divisions are like two or three sea tiles away from landing, so... Okay, cool, cool. just because... Uh... Oh, I see them. Yeah, my ships yeah. are trying to, uh, going away because they're getting navally bombed. <laughs> yeah. So if you take the airports... I just sunk twenty or shot down 20 fighters trying to attack my light cruisers. Oh, one of my light cruisers has 1% health. Okay. <laughs> How many planes are that? Does New Zealand have a lot of fuel? They have four. Oh, oh. yeah. How, how do they even... They have one to two know. divisions. They have more people in their, in their air force than their actual army, probably. Yeah, this late in the game, I just stopped trying to understand how it works, and <laughs> I, I don't know. No, I'm not going to release the UAV. I'm sorry. But not really. <laughs> Yep, and New Zealand's pretty much done for. Nice. Very good. Oh, wow. Dong Dong was wounded. That's not good. Oh, no. Not Dong. My Dong Dong. He's your main field marshal, isn't he? Yeah. Okay. Remember the Dong Dong. Oh, yes. The, the best general. Oh, he long. Field Marshal. I can't remember. Zuhi. Uh, no, he's not a Field Marshal. Dong Dong is Just leading a Army 10. Cat. I actually have lost a few divisions, actually, here and there. Huh. Oh, God. So many ships are ha need to repair. I got 20 ships needing to repair right now. Nice. New Zealand looks like a mess. I'm not going to lie. That looks really messy. Yep, and there it Nice. Gone. Australia. Go, Mal, go. It's only Argentina. They've taken over, over 400,000 casualties already. So, Australia, please, Dutch East Indies, don't become a major or Cuba or Haiti. <sighs> yeah. The Dutch East Indies still not capitulated, I guess. So, yeah. They probably... We haven't taken enough. I don't think that the Argentinians can really stand up to Mao and his millions of men army. They have a pretty good navy, actually. Not bad for South American. Uh, the 43, 45,000 manpower, 40 to 70 divisions. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. But they still can't stand up to Chinese might. Nope. If only if I was sponsored by the PRC. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you'd you'd be making millions right now. I play as left KMT in Kaiserreich. I play as the PRC in Road to 56. What more could they want? Yeah, exactly. Tencent, sponsor me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, could, I could see it happening. These aren't war crimes. This is just revisionist history. <laughs> yeah. This is what really happened. 
This is how the world should have gone about with China owning all of, literally all of <laughs> Africa and a huge chunk of South America. Yeah. This is for the history books. Come on, guys. We've only killed over 600,000 Argentinians. That's all. That's nothing. We do that on a daily basis in, like, China. Oh, no. Let's see. Well, not all you guys have to go that one way. There you go. Make it make it a little, a little different. A little different. Buenos Aires. Ah, oh, they got the ships parked. Let's see. Better artillery again? Sure, why not? All right, who's going to fall faster? Australia or Argentina? Australia is looking pretty weak now, but I don't know. How strong is Argentina? Oh, yeah, definitely Argentina <laughs> first. Australia oh. still has the ability to resist a little bit. Let's break their backs. Oh, thir quarter of a, three quarters of a million. Not bad. Losses, not bad. What's the population of Argentina? That's a good question to ask. Probably relatively high today. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to look it up. Argentina? Yes. Oh, wait. I had a cipher against them, I thought. Yes, I do. Rescue my agent. Thank you. And now we're going to do what China does best. Spy on people, including Taiwan. We sell you our goods, and we totally are not spying on you. Cool. Argentina. Or also known in our modern days, Argentine Republic. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. It's... Interesting fun facts today. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Mainland area of a little over 1.07 million square miles. Eighth largest country in the world. Did you know that? Oh, no. I wouldn't have expected it. Very interesting. Divide into 23 provinces. Let's see. Claims sovereignty over a portion of Antarctica. And the Falkland Islands, of course, but you know. And the Falklands. Yeah, yeah you can't forget wanna, about yep, that. Can't, can't ever forget about them. Bye-bye, Argentine Republic. Hey, even uh, Road 56 got it right. They're still a republic. Yeah. Thank you, Argentina. We welcome your nice. patronage into the Maoist system. Are these roads okay up here? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, do I have any other ships? Uh, ships are being made. They're outdated, whatever. No one cares at this point. Oh my gosh, this is, looks like a Chinese migration to the north. My guys are like... I don't know, but it looks really weird just seeing all this, these Chinese guys moving up north through Argentina now. Yeah. Getting Venezuela's border. Gorda. Huh. So, one of the recognized regional languages in Argentina, in a place called Chubut, or Chubat, Chabat, is Welsh. Huh. Welsh? Wow. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. That's, That's like the least expected language to be recognized there, I guess. Welsh? Or What's maybe... a Welsh? <laughs> Probably uh, some interesting history with that. Yeah. Oh, that's not too bad. A population estimate of Argentina in 2019 was just under 45 million people. Yeah, that's a lot, yeah. That's 5 more million than what was expected in 2010 from 40 million. Yeah. I didn't know that. That many people down in Argentina. You know, to the new world. Cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, Australia. Why? Oh, they're taking so long. I can invade China now. Um, yeah. Alright, we don't need to come back here. Come back here, come back here. That'll be fine. There we go. Alright, shippies, get to where you need to go. Yeehaw. Uh, we have seven task forces. Not bad. Under Huang Tian. Level six. Almost level seven. Almost. We're getting there. We're getting there. Who knew Australia would take forever to kill? Yeah, huh. Oh yeah, all the armies I'm using right now have no generals. I guess I can should I guess I probably should just put random guys in charge of them. <laughs> yeah, all my main armies are still in America, I think. Eh. Just kind of hanging out, seeing what Americans yeah. do. <laughs> yeah, I guess I can just disband them. All right, let's make this official. All right, China, you're the wrong and correct China. China forever. <laughs> let's see. Not bad. Sacrifice. 
Ooh, slightly more construction speed, a little bit less consumer goods. Republic of Chile is finally done decrypted. We actually might be able to invade, maybe not. Who's defending them? Italians? Italians? Really? Yeah, I guess... Yeah. There's one of them in the southern portion of Taiwan there. Now this is how Taiwan's gonna get invaded in real life. Just mass front assault, but really the main thing is from the south. And then all. Yeah, there are yeah. Italians up here. They're starving for supplies and they're dead. Oh yeah, that's kind of... Yeah, I, oh yeah, I see the flag. That's interesting. Huh. Why are there, why are there Italians in Taiwan, man? Oh. Yeah, I have, I have zero clue how that one happened. Now China is almost whole. Now it's gonna be, as everyone can tell, this is a long video. Because we still have to do the peace deal and stuff like that. Oh wait, I restarted the Civil War? Oh, it was a focus that bypassed. Cool. The Civil War restarts. I'm like, oh my god, no! I guess the one piece of your puzzle that's like kind of left kind of is Korea, which is actually my puppet though, so... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like this might start some um, hmm. conflicts in like three or four years or something. Hmm. Hmm, yeah. I'll trade you Portugal for Korea. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good deal, yeah. It's the Chinese are the deal. And I'll trade you Greece for Mongolia, too, yeah. Oh, there you go. I need all of proper Mongolia. Outer and inner Mongolia under us. Now Australia is completely surrounded by the sea, so. Yep. It it's wasn't over. earlier, so. But then again, where are they going to get supplies from? Taiwan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Taiwan, that's... Still, the Italians in Taiwan, that's a pretty big mystery. Sounds kind of like a movie. Italians yeah, I feel like Taiwan. that could be an entire video just about that. It's like, Exploring the mystery of the Italians in Taiwan. I'll see just like the hangover yeah. with Italians going to Taiwan. Yeah. Uh. Hey, Tony, why are we in Taiwan? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've taken Sydney. Yep. Canberra. Is that, that's how you pronounce it, Canberra, right? Canberra. Ah, uh, no clue. Uh, I, I always thought it was Sydney was the capital of Australia, but... Me too. I was. I think it was just Finding Nemo that made me think that, though, honestly. Oh, Nemo. Yep, that show. It's probably because that was, like, the only um, was it Wallaby city Way in Australia I knew my entire childhood, so... Yeah. Eh, it just happened. Something, something, Wallaby Way. That's what I remember. Yeah. Oh, movies. Man, I'd hate to be Australian right now. But then again, oh, yeah. I still hate to be Chinese, because, uh... I, I've oh, just, yeah, I'd... I've thrown thousands, millions of guys to their deaths. I don't think there's a good place to be living right now. Maybe Venezuela? Yeah, probably. Uh, well, For now. hold on, hold For on. 30 more days, yeah. I'm thinking Beijing right now would not be bad to live in. Yeah. We can make this, like, like what... Mr. Adolf H wanted it to do if he won the war, make it like yeah. Hauptstadt Germany or whatever. Be Hauptstadt Beijing. Be yeah. Beijing gone wild. I assume Hawaii is probably still nice a little bit for now. Um, you got nukes? Wait, hold on. America, <laughs> you have resistance in Hawaii? What? Yeah, they haven't made it a state yet, so. That's a lot of resistance, though. Yeah, that is quite a bit of resistance. It's 51. Though. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, Canada? Oh, not Canada, but Alaska? There's no resistance there, though. What? That wasn't a state. Alaska yeah, was huh? the last state to be admitted to the Union. You know, why do we give up doing that? We should, we should get all sorts of states. More states. Yeah, wait, why does the U.S. not have any, like, compliance or resistance in, us, in Alaska? Huh. And it's... It is... We need a bike Just a colony. Hmm. Set up a GoFundMe. Let the United States buy Greenland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. Oh, can't better. Okay. Please, please come better. Please, please. Do you have nukes? Can you please make yep. them go bye bye? Oh, one's already dropping right now. Oh, that's not so, enough. Yeah. Australians are too tough. Oh, I don't know my stability. I'm at war. I'm a melting pot. Huh. Below the Suez Canal. Why not? Alright, so you nuked them until, until they were all di died? Dead. Yeah. 
I've still killed more than with you though somehow. I think it's just because convoys. They're like expeditionaries technically, with like the leader of the allies, you know, decisions, mechanics where they can get divisions from capitulated mm. countries, and then it counts as their losses. But I'm pretty sure oh, losses. Here we oh, go. There, you just want to pass back a bunch of. Force. Oh, that's amazing. Just yeah. Pass back. Hope everyone's enjoyed this campaign. Just this is the longest video we've we've done so far. Yeah. We figured it'd just be best to do it like this. There we go. I think that's. Cool. Go ahead and choose good. what you want. I I probably take the Raj at least. Yeah. But be careful what you ch choose, just because we want to select all. Because like for the UK, I kind of want some of these islands, man. Or so uh, Africa. Africa's a beautiful place. In some places. Yeah, I'll just be careful with countries like that, and then and just select the tiles. I mean, it'd be one thing if you just like selected Libya and be like, it's all in Africa usually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at South America right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, everything. This is the biggest peace deal ever. Three people came in. Three people leave for the peace deal. I can't forget the Swedes. <laughs> yeah. All right, so who wants to claim West Virginia? No one? Um, okay. yeah. <laughs> Uncolonized. Yeah, West Virginia. We're passing the West Virginia neutrality law. No... No nation can this claim is ownership. This where we're having the West Hunger Virginia. Games and or Battle Royale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, that would be actually kind of wild. For, yeah, West that'd Virginia be pretty cool, with its yeah. rivers and its mountains. <sighs> yeah, that'd be, I'd, 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 I'd watch it. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that's like the new top television show in this new world order. <laughs> you end you end up trying to go into a coal mine. There's just people in there already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lord, no. Or Florida. Oh, man. People hiding in the swamps. Oh, yeah. A pet gator come out and try to eat you. Yeah, we'll just turn America into the Hunger Games puppet colony. Or we could do that to Greenland. I, I don't know why. I just I want to own Greenland now as an American. I don't know. Just like, why not? It's not <laughs> even up there. Most people won't care. It's okay. You feel like it's your destiny to uh, own Greenland. <laughs> I, I need to get Greenland. Maybe we can make an exception for Iceland, too, you know? Yeah. We'll give them, like, protectorate status, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Or, or just, why stop at that? Just We should just own everything, right? There sure you go. I mean, D-Shaky said it, you know? Why not? Yeah, yeah, why not? Scotland? Sure, that's an island. Ireland? Yeah, unless you island. can come up with ten valid reasons why we should. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Unique culture, unique people. They might want to become Americans. Land. They might have oil. They're Scottish. <laughs> Yeah. Mm, they're not British. Mm. Well, they are British, but they're not English. But then we want to annex England, too. <laughs> oh, which parts are you annexing now? Oh. Oh, just North America right now. Oh, okay, cool. Some of it, yeah. Uh, at least we didn't invade Haiti. God, hmm, Czechoslovakia. I think I'd all of your... uh, Czechoslovakia, why? Yeah, that was annoying for a long time right uh, there. What? What is that? Istria is its own thing? Oh, no, that's just Italy, maybe. Sud Tyrol, Montenegro. I'm glad I annexed like, some of these states by themselves. Whew. Okay, I think I took all of Europe. We'll see. Maybe. Oh, boy. Ah, my turn. Let's see. South Africa. I missed Northern Ireland. I'm going to split you into 20 different states. Uh, cool. I'll take that, I guess. Muscat and Omen. Hello. Raj. Hello. Satellite China. No, thanks. Libya. Congo. I love the Congo. Dutch East Indies. Thank you. Malaysia. Thank you. Did I do Libya? I hope I did. Um, Somalia. One of the best places on Earth, apparently. Uh, Eritrea. I love it. Haiti, I think I did that one. Cuba, if you don't mind me getting a little snipe snipe right there. Uh, Thailand. Yeah, that's fine. Oriental Republic of Uruguay. Let's see. That should be pretty good. I guess I'll take Honduras. I'll take that one too. We stop in Mexico. You have Mexico. I take everything else. South of that, perhaps. Uh, take that little island. Take that island. Take Ecuador. Thank you. Oh, Brazil. What are you doing? You are under China's administration. Good, good, good. 
for it. Oh yeah, the American Islands. Yeah, I'll just took the Caribbean. Yeah, Dishiki doesn't need the American Islands now. Yeah, I don't have a navy. I can't defend it anyway. Jamaica, Bermuda, or Bahamas. Bahamas. Uh, let's see anything else. Oh yeah, Chile probably would be good. Uh, that part of Brazil, Chile, Chile. <clears throat> uh, the uh, uh, Falkland Islands, please. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Africa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness, this takes forever to do. Why is Africa so big? You know what? Even though the devs make Africa, ma these states massive, I'm kind of glad they did. Yeah, that would have been kind of crazy. Africa is such a huge place. Yeah, like if they did a modern day, like, I, I don't know exactly what Millennium Dawn does, but like in modern day mods, you'd have to probably divide it more. Oof, that's a huge, huge project. Yeah. Africa rising. Let's see. Ethiopia is just one massive state. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Anything other parts of Madagascar? Sure. Indian Ocean? Sure. 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 Uh, oh god, I hate all these small little islands. Ah, Cyprus, thank you. Thank you. Or not, that's not Cyprus, that's Sri Lanka or Ceylon. I forget. Which one's the more appropriate version now? Um, I, I don't know. Oh, did you want, like, any part of Asia, or...? Oh, no, I, I don't really care too much for anything over there. Okay, you don't like Asia? Okay. No, 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 <laughs> not that, not that. <laughs> hey, half of my original country is in Asia, so, you know. Ah. Fun times. Let's see. Thank you for invading New Zealand and giving it to me. Thank you very much. Thank you for nuking uh, Australia. Now we're going to play Fallout Australia. I'm not sure what else there's a lot of that. A lot of places, apparently. <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah. let's see. I see the Netherlands are still there. Oh, yeah, Benat. That would probably be good to take. Sorry, Sweden, you're not really getting much out of this deal. There, the U.S. puppet state of the Hunger Game Lions. <laughs> I kind of see who their leader is. Yeah, that would be interesting, yeah. It's late in the game. Where Where is the Netherlands last place? Um, I think it's down in Suriname. Uh, if you don't mind, I could probably take that. Yeah. It just makes it look nicer, that's all. I love Africa. Oh, the French owned... Oh, never mind. I thought the French owned Malta, but it was just weird. Oh, yeah, yeah. Deal. Where's Liechtenstein? Where's San, San Marco, San Marino? Where's the Vatican City? Oh, it's the French commune. It's not France. It's the French commune. Oh, I forgot Nepal and Bhutan. Take Hong Kong. Oh, <laughs> now hey, that will definitely that. make it that. for. Uh... <laughs> don't look at that one, okay? You know. A Sino-Soviet split right there. <laughs> yeah. You may have nukes, but you cannot nuke nuke uh, all of the population. <laughs> <laughs> The United Maybe Arms of China, India, and Africa resist. I might fight you with sticks, but we will win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no, he's taking Hong Kong. Oh, it's time for war. Oh yes, yes. Operation China Sino Glory. <laughs> Let's uh. see. Take all the states. Take it to all states. Take all the states. I already took all the states. Take all the states. Take all the states. Take all the states. Now that should be good. Yep, that should be it. Now I get to denounce you as a colonial power and an imperialist. Yeah. Owning Hong Kong. Uh, sorry, Sweden. You didn't get anything out of this. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. We didn't even give you Norway or anything. Uh, yeah. The At least they won their civil war. The great alliance between China and Sweden versus the evils of the Soviet Union. Yep. Oh my goodness. Well, that looks pretty awesome. Let's take a look at the faction map mode. The common turn is looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Yep. Yeah, uh, too decently bad. strong. Too bad I didn't get Venezuela. But uh, if we had like four, two weeks, we could do that. But, you know, uh, let's take a look. So the U.S. is led by uh, Earl Browder. That's right. Earl Browder. Yeah, still. They I wondered have, if they'd have someone else. But... 19 million manpower in five divisions. But you know what? That's okay. Yep. I guess 
I will wrap up the episode for us. And so, guys, hope you enjoyed yep. this entire campaign. If you did, consider leaving maybe a like. Subscribe to either one of our channels if you haven't already. Also, leave in the comments, should we do this again sometime, playing Road to 56 or any other mod together with me, D, Shaky, and maybe other people. Regardless, we all, we both hope you enjoyed the campaign, and we hope to see you again in another one. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day!